Information on the Pit Corso Breed, American Pit Bull Terrier Cane Corso Mix. When choosing a new pit, are you torn between a pit bull and a cane corso? Consider adopting a pit corso, a hybrid of the two breeds. Learn everything about this combination in this article, including the requirements for nutrition, character traits, and training. Are you considering getting a pit bull slash cane corso mix for your home? There are some things you should know before you proceed. Among all dogs, the American Pit Bull Terrier and the Cane Corso have one of the most intimidating appearances. Those who are familiar with them can attest that both breeds make loving and laid-back family pets. The kind The combination of these two well-known breeds results in the canine hybrid known as the Pit Corso. Pit Corsos will grow to be large dogs, so if you can't handle that, cross this breed off your list right away. The Italian Mastiff, another name for the parent breed of the Cane Corso, is a large dog. Most dog experts argue that their pit bull parent's reputation as a fighting breed is unjustified. The best of both worlds can be found in Pit Corsos. They're not for everyone, though, and they can be a stubborn mixed breed. And those who attempt this puppy without conducting adequate research run the risk of it failing. Anyone who wants to bring one of these stunning dogs into their life should read this breed guide. However, we are confident you will check all of your boxes if you can check all of his. Check out the American Pit Corso to see if it's the right breed for you. Family Breeds you must first become familiar with his parents if you want an American Pit Corso in your life. After all, he combines the qualities of the two. Let's take a closer look at them, starting with their past and moving on to a bit about their personality and appearance. American Pit Bull Terrier Due to their reputation, Pit Bulls are one of the most feared dog breeds. One of the most unfair and unjustified stereotypes about dogs is that of the American Pit Bull Terrier. His ancestors were employed in England to kill rats, compete in dog fights, and bet on sporting events. The pit bull that we know and love today was created by crossing the best and the biggest. He has since found employment as a herder, therapy dog, and household pet. Pit bulls weigh between 30 and 65 pounds and are between 17 and 21 inches tall. They are athletically trim and muscular. The Velvet Hippo is how those who adore him refer to him. Most pit bulls have a cheeky smile that stretches from ear to ear. He wouldn't make a good guard dog because they are typically friendly to everyone, including strangers. Much different from how he is known. As a popular crossbreed parent for other popular mixes, pit bulls are quite common in the United States. Cane Corso The Cane Corso is an Italian breed of dog that resembles a Mastiff, he was developed to work on the ranch, pulling carts, driving livestock, and guarding the family estate and hen houses. In addition to wild boar hunting, the Neapolitan Mastiff and breed enthusiasts saved the Cane Corso, who was on the verge of extinction. He is now more frequently observed performing protection duties in family homes. He is between 88 and 110 pounds and is between 23 and 27 inches tall. He is also a muscular dog, but his added weight makes him appear cuddlier and less defined than the pit bull. He has a bigger, squarer head with an alluring smile, and his coat is denser and rougher to the touch. His popularity has soared to 32nd out of about 196 recognized breeds despite only being recognized for 10 years. They are sometimes compared to German Shepherds and other guardian breeds because of their reputation as superior property guardians. American Pit Corso Unlike their Corso parents, the American Pit Corso is a special breed of dog that is more active. An uncommon mixed breed is the American Pit Corso. He is a stunning fusion of both of his parents, so it is inevitable that he will gain popularity very quickly. Of course, the personalities and appearances of mixed breeds can be a little unpredictable. Let's look at an average American Pit Corso, but more often than not, he will get the best of both canine worlds. 
temperament. The Pig Corso is a calm breed that enjoys being with their family. Big and hardy, the American Pit Corso is a breed of large dog. More than anything else in the world, this puppy adores his family. Therefore, look no further than this mix if you want a dog that will regard you as the best thing to happen to him every single time he sees you. He may appear to be a big, muscular guy, but inside he is a soft-hearted romantic. This means plenty of hugs and kisses on the couch for you and your family. Grandma all the way down to the grandchildren, he treats them all with love and kindness. He will follow his parents around and assist you with kid-friendly entertaining duties because both of his parents enjoy kids. However, he does not show this affection to strangers. He makes a capable guard dog, unlike his pit bull parent. He is thankfully much easier to manage because he is not as protective as his cane corso parent. He will bark and keep a close eye on anyone who approaches his family, and if necessary, he will defend them. He is an intense dog to have around the house because of all of these characteristics. He longs for human interaction and despises being left alone because he is unsure of your safety. If you can stand his intensity, he makes up for it with lots of laughs and a charming goofball attitude. Dimension and Appearance Pitbull Cane Corso hybrids come in a range of sizes and looks. The American Pit Corso is a large-sized dog, standing 20 to 24 inches tall and weighing between 50 and 90 pounds. He has a small Cane Corso chunk on top and is a muscular dog like both of his parents. He has a thick neck, a square-shaped head, and a tail that doesn't extend past his hock, also known as the dog ankle. His eyes are almond-shaped, he has a square, fleshy nose, and his ears are big drop-downs. Some owners choose to have the ears of their pit bulls and cane corsos cropped, so some may choose the same style. He may inherit the corsos sagging jowls, but they won't swing as much, meaning less drool as well. Colors and Coat Due to the presence of the brindle-colored gene in both parent breeds, brindle is typically the most prevalent color. The short, dense coat of an American Pit Corso. It won't be as smooth and shiny as a Pit Bull's, but it also won't be as rough as a Corso's. He will wear a double coat to keep warm in the winter and cool in the summer. The American Pit Corso's typical coloration includes black, fawn, various brindle tones, or red. These are the coat colors that parents most frequently wear together, but he could wear any combination of them. He won't be a Merle if that's the only color. Therefore, if you find an American Pit Corso that is Merle in color, he is not an American Pit Corso. He'll probably have dark brown eyes, but they could also be light brown or deep gray. He rarely gets yellow or blue eyes, but it does happen occasionally. If it does, you can anticipate him to cost a little more than his siblings if it does. Exercise and Environment The Corso Pit Bull mix is less lazy than a Pit Bull, but more animated than their Corso parent. Every day, the American Pit Corso requires at least an hour of exercise. If you want to release that athletic energy of his, it needs to be intense and dynamic. Think about seaside fun, mountain treks, and long jogs. Whatever your favorite pastime is, it'll quickly become his as well because he loves spending time with you. You can be certain that this mix will be subject to breed-specific legislation, BSL, because both of his parents are frequently governed by it. This means that you need to research the BSL regulations in your area because you might not be able to take him to a dog park or let him run off-leash in public. Any tenancy restrictions may also be impacted by this. Given that this mix is predicted to grow to be a large dog, apartment living is not an option. Instead, he'd prefer a medium to large-sized house with lots of space to act silly. With his own yard, he would also value having access to the great outdoors. Just make sure it's safe, he'll guard his perimeter, because he will. It's a good idea to meet and greet the local delivery person. The American Pit Corso will probably get along with other dogs if he is socialized properly. He might not, though, if he is more like his cane Corso parent than his pit tie parent. This shouldn't be a problem if you have other pets and are bringing him home as a puppy. However, you must introduce a new pet slowly if there is already an American Pit Corso living in the household. Do this before you commit to anything. Training 
it can be rewarding and challenging to train a Corso Pit Mix. The American Pit Corso is a beautiful canine. He can, however, be a challenge, so you must be ready for lifelong training. You can find this pup anywhere in between because cane Corsos are not suitable for first-time owners, whereas Pit Bulls are. Given this, you should be ready to discipline him strictly, act as the pack leader, and prevent him from getting away with misbehavior. A crucial step is socialization. For him to develop into a confident dog, you must expose him to new dogs, animals, people, sounds, and environments. Without it, he'll become problematically overprotective. The most effective training method for this mix is positive reinforcement training, and because of his pit bull ancestry, he ought to learn commands easily. We would suggest crate training him because he also detests being left alone. As soon as you bring him home for the first time, make sure a crate is ready for him. You're going to need an indestructible crate just in case, given his size and strength. But with the right training, he'll learn to cherish his own personal sanctuary. Health. In general, American Pit Corsos have excellent health. The average lifespan of an American Pit Corso is 10 to 14 years. They are generally healthy dogs. Being a mixed breed dog, he might get either parent's health issues. Although not all inclusive, familiarize yourself with the following most prevalent medical conditions and their signs. The most likely health issue for him is hip and elbow dysplasia, as both of his parents have these conditions. Cardiac issues, his cane corso parent is prone to a number of cardiac diseases, with dilated cardiomyopathy being the most prevalent. Skin allergies, his pit bull parent's skin is sensitive, possibly as a result of exposure to allergens like grass or dietary issues. Nutrition. The American Pit Corso will consume about 2.5 to 3 cups of food each day. He will benefit from a high quality kibble that will keep him energized all day because of his high energy level and large body mass. Fortunately, you can be confident that a high quality kibble will offer a diet that is both incredibly tasty and well balanced. Given that large breed dogs have particular nutritional requirements, you must feed him large breed kibble because of this. When they are puppies, it's crucial to feed them large breed food because it will slow down their rapidly growing bones. Consequently, the severity of the joint dysplasia to which they are predisposed may be lessened. Grooming. The American Pit Corso sheds occasionally all year long and has a short double coat. He will only require a pin brush once per week. Also occasionally during the shedding season, a deshedding tool will be helpful. He will only require brushing every 8 to 12 weeks to maintain his best appearance and health. Keep an eye on his skin and be sure to get him checked out if he exhibits any symptoms of skin allergies. Like his pit bull parent, he will lose about the same amount of weight. Costs of breeders and puppies. Puppies that are a mix of Corso and pit bull typically cost $1,000 and more. Because the American Pit Corso is currently a relatively uncommon breed, you'll need to put your detective cap on to look for a reputable breeder. Always stay away from puppy mills because they frequently sell maltreated or sickly animals. Any dog, but especially a large dog with guarding tendencies, will find this to be bad news. Find a breeder instead who can demonstrate that they have prior experience with cane Corso and pit bull breeding or who has a professional website. Customer reviews provide a wealth of information about a company's reputation. Always meet the puppies in person, along with their parents, and request to see the health clearances. You'll realize the extra work was worthwhile when you find a healthy and content puppy. An American Pit Corso from a reputable breeder will typically cost around $1,000. Additionally, keep in mind that a dog is more than just his initial price. You must account for his food expenses as well as any equipment he may have, such as beds, brushes, collars, etc. You must also account for the potential rise in insurance and license costs caused by the BSL worries. Protection and shelters. We always advise adopting before shopping. Welcome to the Rescue Club if you are considering adopting an American Pit Corso. When you consider how many pit bull slash mixes there are out there looking for their forever home, adopting a dog is a great idea. Try your neighborhood rescue shelters and discuss your needs with the staff. 
Try dedicated breed shelters that rescue purebred puppies and their hybrid offspring if you are unsuccessful there. The websites for Cane Corso Rescue and Pit Bull Rescue Central both list specific rescue organizations and provide contact information. You will probably also save some money in addition to saving a life. As household pets, the American Pit Corso makes a great family pet. He detests being left alone and prefers to spend all of his time with his family. The American Pit Corso enjoys spending time with kids and makes a wonderful canine sibling. He might adapt well to a home with multiple pets. The American Pit Corso requires at least 60 minutes of exercise each day and a larger home with access to a secure yard. The grooming routine for the American Pit Corso is fairly straightforward. He requires consistency in training and is a difficult dog. The American Pit Corso is a watchdog who will look out for your family. This mix will always be alert and on guard around the house because he is reserved around strangers and takes time to warm up to them. Final Reflections The American Pit Corso, in all his gorgeous glory, is now yours to admire. His difficult cane Corso streak makes him unsuitable for everyone. But this dog is a great option if you want something a little more laid back. He'll be a submissive dog who will follow you around all day thanks to his pit bull streak. And despite the absurd BSL laws, with lifelong training, he will be a friendly dog of which you can be proud. He's a great addition to the family, and the kids will adore him. He's a lot of fun, and his silly demeanor guarantees that you'll laugh a lot for years to come.